Bonnie, and I work in retail sales at Industrial Metal Supply. One of the most common questions that I get asked is what is the difference between the alloys of aluminum sheet that we sell? Aluminum is graded from a zero to a six, zero being dead soft and six being very brittle and hard. Okay, this is our 5052H32. This is our most common sheet. It's corrosion resistant, it's got great weldability, and it's a three on the scale from zero to six, which means it's half hard. It's perfect for any kind of sheet metal work that you want to do. If you're making a fuel tank, 3003H14 would be perfect. It's a one on the scale, which means it's almost dead soft, and it's perfect for formidability. We have a lot of customers who have off-road vehicles, so if you're looking for a skid plate, 6061T6 is what you're looking for. As you can see, bending the 5052H32 is easy and the formed edge is consistent and fluid. But when we try to bend the 6061T6, you can see the material has fractured, which looks like peeling paint. Industrial Metal Supply will help you pick just the right aluminum for your project. You can visit us at one of our many retail locations, call ahead and have your order ready at will call, or visit us online at industrialmetalsupply.com. In C.9 we're going to describe the main properties and uses of aluminum and its alloys. In everyday conversation, when we say aluminum, really everything is an aluminum alloy in, in reality. Um, we very rarely will come across pure aluminum. So we see that every day from our phone construction, like the HTC One here, um, to our tin foil, to our pop cans, all those types of things are all really made of aluminum alloys. But what we're going to do is we're going to break these down into aluminum versus our alloys so we can compare them. And we'll start with the properties. Um, again, these are going to start in black with the physical properties. And aluminum um, and their alloys are not magnetic. And that can be compared to iron because most iron alloys are magnetic except for stainless steel. And a pure iron obviously is magnetic. So there's a difference between aluminum and iron. Aluminum conducts electricity and heat. Aluminum alloys also conduct, but a little bit less than the pure metal. They're both malleable, but the alloy is a little bit less than the pure metal. And they're both ductile, but again, the alloy a little bit less than the pure metal. They're both low density. This is one of the main points of aluminum. It has a low density. Uh, when we add it, um, other elements in, it becomes slightly higher density than pure aluminum. The density basically allows us to keep the mass down. So that's why aluminum is very lightweight. When you pick up a piece of aluminum, it's much lighter um, than if you picked up a piece of steel of the same size. The steel is gonna be a lot heavier. They're both shiny, uh, but the alloys tend to be a little less, less shinier. They're both not really all that hard, um, but the alloys make it a little bit harder than the pure metal. And they're both not all that strong, um, but the alloy is a little bit stronger than the pure aluminum. In terms of resistance to corrosion, they're both corrosion resistance. And the way they do that is basically um, the top layer of aluminum does react with air and it forms an aluminum oxide layer. However, that layer is now a protective layer. It doesn't allow any more oxygen to get beneath it. So once the surface has oxidized and it's still a little bit shiny, as it's still shiny after it oxidizes, um, then the rest of the metal underneath is safe. That's completely opposite as, as to what happens with iron and iron alloys, which can rust and then the rust can actually eat its way through. In terms of uses, pure aluminum, again, we don't really encounter it a lot in everyday life, but highly reflective mirrors, not the mirrors in our homes. The mirrors in our homes are generally from silver. Um, but if, for example, if you bought a really expensive telescope that was um, reflective, a reflective microscope, it could possibly be made um, of aluminum to make the mirror. Electrodes, we'll be looking at aluminum electrodes when we do the electrochemistry unit. And aircraft construction, so the alloy, to make it a little bit stronger, of course, you want your aircraft to hold together. But again, the, the advantage here is that this is low density. So this is how we keep our aircraft from getting too heavy um, is by building them with aluminum alloys instead of um, like steel. Pop cans are also an aluminum alloy made with sort of manganese. 
and cooking utensils inside our kitchen. They're corrosion resistant, so they're good to cook with. And some of our furniture, if it's very lightweight and it's still made of metal, it's probably made of an aluminum alloy.